Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take you through um, a cylinder. So the 3D shape of a cylinder, fairly straightforward. Again, the way that it looks is going to depend on your shape. So what's your radius and diameter compared to the height? So if your diameter and the height are relatively equal, you might end up with something more like this. Um, actually, let me just erase the bottom. I'm not so good at drawing these right now. Here we go. So where you see that the diameter and the height are relatively equal, but many of you probably have one where it's like skinnier and taller. Okay, so depending on what yours looks like, you're going to draw your 3D shape. So hints for the net, because the net for the cylinder is definitely more difficult. We've got to really think it through. Remember, if this is our, our shape, we have to picture unfolding this. And when we talked about this in class, we unfold it. The um, middle part is a rectangle. And then you've got your two circles on either side. Now, some hints to make sure that we're drawing this accurately. Okay, If I were to fold this, I would be folding this way right, to make my cylinder. So I would be going around in a curve this way. So what that means, I'm just going to undo those, is this part here, I'm just going to highlight it, this part is the circumference. Okay? And this part I'm just going to try to use my pen. My pen has been having some battery difficulties, but my writing with my finger is not very good, and my pen is still not working. So this part is my height, okay? And then the other thing for you to consider is right here, which is your radius, and also this length, which is your diameter. So if you're trying to draw something where your diameter, this green line here, is going to be, so right in here, this green line, no, you can't see my pointer, sorry. Um, right down in there. That green line, if the diameter is the same as the height, that needs to be the same as this yellow highlighter. So this net would be more for like the tall, skinny one. Um, what you're going to notice here, though, is to be able to accurately draw this, you will need to calculate the circumference. You need to know how long this is in comparison to the height, in comparison to the diameter, to be able to make an accurate drawing. So on your rough copy, you're going to need an additional calculation that shows me what the circumference of your shape is. So keep that in mind when you're doing a cylinder. 